Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Sax Academy. In today's lesson, we've got three versions of the tune Mo Better Blues from beginners to advanced level players. Now this tune is a great, simple, soulful tune and it's really good to learn by ear as well. Now you can get the free PDF of this beginner version and the link to that is down below. But first of all, let's try learning it by ear. If you've never learned a tune by ear before, you can follow these steps when you're learning other tunes as well. So the first thing you want to know when you're learning a tune by ear is what key are we in? What's the home note? So in these versions, I've put it into concert F major, which for alto saxes means that D is your home note and we're in the key of D major. And for tenor saxes, that would be G major. Now the great thing about this tune is it only uses is the major pentatonic scale. We make our major pentatonic by taking the first, second, third, fifth and sixth notes from the major scale and these are the only notes that get used during the melody. Now to make it a little bit easier I'll tell you the starting note of the melody. So on alto sax it starts on A and for tenor sax your first note is D. Now the great thing about this melody is it's only eight measures long and it consists of just four phrases and two of those phrases in terms of the melody are exactly the same. So it's only really three different phrases. Shut your eyes now and listen to the shape of this phrase. I'm sure you can hear how that melody is rising. So if you go up through your pentatonic scale on that starting note, A for altos and D for tenors, you'll create the first phrase. Here's that phrase with the notes now. Now, phrase number two starts on the note E for alto sax, which is the note A for tenor sax. Again, shut your eyes and listen to the shape of the phrase. Is it just going up? Is it just going down? Or is there a change in direction? Now this phrase is a little bit trickier because there is a change in direction, but if you replay it in your mind and follow the steps, you'll hear how it goes up one note and then it comes down three notes. Now the third phrase is exactly the same in terms of the melody. The chords are different underneath, but in terms of the melody, it's exactly the same. So instead we'll go straight to the last phrase, which is very similar to that second and third phrase. It starts on the same note, E for altos, A for tenors, and it's almost identical. Just listen to the end of the phrase though, how it's different. Again, follow the shape. So it steps up and down in the same way, but then we have a little bit of a leap. Instead of stepping down to the note just below in the pentatonic scale, we jump down to the next note. So for alto saxes, we're going from that E to B, and for tenor saxes, we're going from that A to E. And then it steps back up to our home note. So altos, that's a D because we're in D major, and tenors, that's the G because we're in G major. And you can hear how it really feels like the melodies come back home and it feels really settled. <laughs> And that's it, those are all the phrases. Those four phrases then get repeated again to create the beginner version. Now you can get the free PDF for this beginner version and that's available in the link down below at onlinesaxacademy.com. And premium members will also be able to get the intermediate and advanced level transcriptions along with the backing tracks and performance tracks. All right, so here's the beginner version. You can have a listen to it a couple of times first, sing along to really get that tune in your ear and then you can grab your sax and give it a try. When you're listening to that beginner version, really listen to how those long notes are getting shaped. There's a lot of long notes in this melody and you want to use your dynamics and a little bit of vibrato, that's the wavy sound, towards the ends of the notes to help shape them. I'm also dying away slightly towards the end of the long notes and that, again, that just makes it sound more interesting. Now, moving on to this intermediate version, we're now gonna to start to jazz up, decorate this melody a bit. Then after that melody, there's an example solo. Now, I played this solo nearly entirely with the same notes that the melody's made up with, the major pentatonic scale. And that's a great place to start when you're learning to improvise. I also added in what's called the blues note, which in a major pentatonic is the flattened third, and that creates what's sometimes called the major blues scale. 
So if you're fairly new to improvising, you can have a look at this example solo and take ideas from it. And then using the backing track that you can download, you'll be able to see if you can play your own solos as well. And of course, if you're a premium member at Online Sax Academy, you'll also have access to the Learn to Improvise course, which steps you through right from the very beginning. All right, so here's the intermediate version. Now moving on to the advanced version, we're keeping the same structure as the intermediate. So we've got the melody, which has been decorated, going into a solo before returning to the melody. The main difference here is some of the phrases are a little bit faster and trickier under the fingers. I'm also using some improvisation concepts like chromatic passing notes and enclosures. And I go into lots of detail with lots of exercises you can try for these kinds of concepts in the Learn to Improvise course. Okay, so here's the advanced version. Let me know in the comments down below how we got on with this. Have fun practicing this one and I'll see you next week.